New right, single, and, uh, new everything. I'm excited to hear about it. Yeah. Um, but first things first, I have to ask you, yeah. how have the last six months of your life been coming out of a global pandemic? Uh, you know, fine. You know, I I tried not to let any of that stop me, to be honest. You know, I um I worked, I started working on a new album last year and we started releasing new music in April. And um, so... Uh, you know, life goes on. I started a podcast called Making Sound two years ago now uh, and uh, had some South African artists on that as well. So, you know, just what are you going to do? You know, you just you got to keep going. I feel like you just have this like you're just full of positive energy all the time. And like online, you're the same as when I speak to you. Like you are always just positive and looking at things from a really great perspective. Is that work for you or is that just you? Well, I think I had to work at it. Okay. You know, like, I don't think, you know, life isn't simple or not, or uncomplicated. It it just is hard. Yeah. And, but once you accept that, I think your perspective changes. You know, if you think life is all, you know, roses, uh, then <laughs> it's not going to work. You know, I think we, we have to work at it. You know, you have to work at a changing perspective. You have to work at um, finding good the good things in your life that work and focusing on those. And I, I, I try to do that, you know. Um, so you, you were working on an album. You were doing a podcast while the rest of us were getting fat and baking bananas. <laughs> <laughs> we should have tried harder, Jan, but none of us really did. Um <laughs> Were you, what yeah. space were you writing from? And is that work very different from previous work that you've done because of what was happening in the world? Of course, you know, it, it, it was um, my co-writer, Alex Forbes and I, you know, our sessions would become, they were like therapy sessions when we would have writing sessions and we would just purge all, everything that we were going through, you know, whether it was personal or professional. And uh, it really helped, you know, and, we're we're different. We're very different people, and we don't agree on everything. But we agree that we can get along, and that we can be creative together. And that difference, you know, those two spaces, when they come together, they work really well, you know. And like Sugar My, the the single that that you guys are currently playing, you know. Thank you for that, by the way. We and, love that um, single. Thank you. I and I really appreciate the support. I really do. Um, and uh, Flesh and Blood and, and, you know, half of the new album, which is coming out in 2023, is a co our co-writes with Alex. And like I said, these we took everything that that was happening and we just threw it into the music, you know. So uh, it, it was uh, it was very therapeutic. And um, and I, I, I love working with her. You know, it really was it was very helpful. Were you writing online, like in Zooms and on Skype? In person. Oh, in person still. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. I know a lot. We tried of it. We tried the online thing, and and we were like, forget this. Let's okay. just get together. So we did. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to ask because I, I've been speaking to a lot of artists that did also write on albums throughout lockdown, and they were doing it online, and they were having whole writing sessions on Zoom, and I've never written with someone, but I can imagine that like it would be more difficult for me to get into someone's brain and connect on that level that we need to through this that this wouldn't work for me i don't think you know we we would supplement it online but actually like getting together in person and you and i both know you know it's the connection that you have online is has come very far you know mm -hmm. we have facetime we have zoom we have all these ways to visually connect, but it's still not the same as sitting in a room with a person, feeling their energy, looking them in the eye, and and having that that mm. you know one on one uh, connection. It's it, it it will never make up for it completely. It's not possible. So for this album, working with Alex, did you have an idea of the songs? Did you go in there with something, or was it completely from scratch? It was completely from scratch. You know, we uh, when we started writing together we every every song we you know we would go a little bit deeper and we had more time and we would get to know each other better and we've become really good friends since and so it was it was really like a whole new room 
you know, it was a whole new door that I walked through and um, I love collaborating, you know, as you know, and, and it, it was really in South Africa that, that started that whole collaborative process. When I did these BMI writers camps, you know, in 2000, uh, it was 2016, 2017, with people like Karin Zoid and, and uh, you know, Zion and RJ Benjamin and Tamara Day. And I mean, there was so much talent there. And, and but that like, it really started opening the door for me to collaborate more with mm -hmm. people. So um, it, it was great training. And uh, and ever since then, I've really, I still write on my own, but I, I prefer to collaborate with others. It's, I think it's good for you. I think when you when you're alone, you isolate and you overthink. And I think when you're yeah. with other people, it makes you look at it from a diff different perspective, yeah. right? Some, that being said, some people are very good at oh, working yeah. on their own. And, you know, like Prince would worked on his own, uh, you know, a lot, you know? So it, it was, uh, but there's also, there's always a, there's a, there should be a balance, I think. Mm. Okay. So talk to me about the new single that we're playing, because I know that the video has released now sometime. Um, Correct. Flesh and Blood. What is this? Tell me about the song for someone who has no idea. So uh, for someone that has no idea, it's, you know, uh, I am flesh and blood, not a number. I am not like another. Find a place, find a way to become one. Mm -hmm. And th those are the lyrics. And that's the song in a nutshell. You know, I, we wanted to write about getting back to connecting, getting back to nature, you know, the video set, there's no, you don't see any, you don't see buildings, you don't see, um, uh, uh, you don't see concrete, you just see trees and people. And so we wanted to, we wanted something that would hopefully remind us of that, what it feels like to be, to, to be connected but like to leave your cell phone and you know the the the, the industrialized world behind you for a moment mm -hmm. and you know being tracked by everybody on the planet when you make a phone call or send an email or post something on socials yeah. you know remember that and that's that's what that's what the song is about it's so incredible for me how the universe works because so many of us go through the same thing and think the same things. And yet we don't communicate that we're in these places, right? Or these mental spaces. And then someone like you will release the song and there'll be conversations around it and we'll realize that we're all feeling very overwhelmed by technology. And mm -hmm. I was actually speaking to my life coach not so long ago. And he said to me, when last have you had analog time? And I'd never heard that phrase before. And I had to actually sit back and go, I don't remember when last I went and put my feet on the grass or sat in the sun. And we are so blessed living in South Africa. We have all of these things all the time, but we're so consumed by this stupid thing in our hands <laughs> that this is all we look at. So I am ready. And also I think very importantly message is human connection right because the global yeah. pandemic removed us all from each other but we are yeah. communal we are communal animals we want to be part of a community but we don't know how to do that anymore so thank you for this anthem i think it's our anthem for 2022 thank you i i hope it i hope uh i hope people will enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it we really did it was a lot of fun yeah just on the more that that analog side of life do you have practices in your day that you do to ensure that you still stay grounded and connected yes i do so i run almost every day and i don't take my phone with me and i don't take earbuds i don't listen to music i just completely disconnect i leave the phone run. at home you I just, just run. run wow okay yeah and it's my it's my me time it's my disconnect time Okay. How, how did you begin that? Because surely when you first start that the first day without earbuds or phone, you, I would, I would be fighting in my head about everything and you know, that noise. But that's the point, you know, you have to take time to filter everything out and let everything kind of work its way through, mm -hmm. you know, like it's so important. And I don't think we do that enough. I think we constantly bombard ourselves. So how could we, how can we not be overwhelmed? How can, of course you're going to feel that way. Mm. 
you have to take that time. You can't just leave it to sleep. You know, you have to take time when you're awake <laughs> to do the same thing. <sighs> you see, the universe is messaging me hard today. Um, is the rest of the album about similar a similar message or are they all different songs? They're all different songs. Um, you know, there are some, I found a couple of older gems that I'd never released. Okay. You know, um, I experimented with new sounds with my producer, Marcus Dombinsky. Uh, there's more of, there are more electronic elements in, in the record, still using live instruments for everything. Um, it's, it's probably going to be my favorite of all my albums. I love in tandem, like making in tandem in South Africa was awesome. I mean, I nearly, you know, I mean, I, I nearly, let me turn off my, I thought I had this turned off. Damn it. Um, I, uh, I, you know, I, it was it, the work that I put that and the time, you know, was it was a very draining uh, album to make in tandem. You know, like I, I tell people I almost died making that record, you know, both financially and emotionally. <laughs> but then I was talking to Shikana, my friend Shikana, and she and we talked about this and she said, yeah, you die a little when you make an album. And I was like, that's it. You do, you know, and but this one here was at very different pace. Like it, it was much more, of course, I also have like label support then. I mean, in tandem got me a record deal, okay. you know, and my, my, my career really changed after that record, you know, and uh, this was this making, making what we, I think we'll call the album surrender uh, will was, uh, was a much more, um, a freer process, you know, where having label support and also having uh, Marcus Dombinsky, the, the producer I'm working with, uh, who I'd never worked with before. And and so it, I I like the, the dynamic. You know, we had a lot of time where we just worked the two of us. Mm -hmm. So it was a much smaller um, creative process. Whereas when I was making in tandem, we would have, you know, 10, 15 people on one song. So there were so many, there were a lot more people involved making that record, which made it a lot harder, also added another dynamic to it, you know, another creative dynamic. But so this is very different. Um, but, you know, hey, you know, I don't know if it's there's a better or worse thing, you know, when you're making an album, you just you 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 have to be in the moment with it and go with what's working. And if it's working, you it'll work out. And I think it ha it will. When is the album due? Do you have a date yet, or we don't have a date, but it will probably be February of 2023. Okay. Will you be touring it? Yes, we will be touring in South Africa with it in okay. March, April, around there. Yes. Okay. Where Hope can to you see. Find I am coming. I'm coming for Analog Time. I'll even leave my phone at home. Um... Maybe that's what I should call the record Analog Time. <laughs> And a long time. It's a it's a it's a good thing. Um, Jan, where can we find out more about the tour? Uh, just you know, go to my uh, socials, Jan Close, J A N N K L O S E. Um, if you if you punch that in, you'll you'll find everything. There's uh, there's a way to subscribe on my website, and um, you know, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, da da da. All the stuff I want to leave behind me. <laughs> yes, exactly. I actually deleted all of that stuff today. Everything. Did you? I did. What? I really did. Yeah. I scheduled for the week and then I deleted. I have nothing. I don't even have emails on my phone. My phone is now for phoning, which is very strange. Wow. Yeah. It's That's cool. Scary. I, 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 I'm going to not try that. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> scared. <laughs> no, I think, you know what? The only thing that you can't schedule is TikTok. So what's the point of having everything all the time? You don't need yeah. it. I'll let you know how it goes. I've already picked Please. up my phone about 25 times today to like open Instagram and there's no Instagram, but we'll see. Um, other than avoiding social media and spending some analog time, um, what are you busy with at the moment? Uh, so we are trying to get a, a show scheduled that we want to film where we want to have a live audience here in on the East coast somewhere, maybe in, maybe in Connecticut where we've been shooting a lot of the, the content for the videos. Um, you know, so we're, we're, we're trying to get that scheduled. Uh, 
I'm I'm finishing up the record. And uh, you know, other than that, I'm I'm just trying to just enjoy life, quite honestly. Okay. You know, I have some trips coming up next month to Florida where I'm playing a festival and some other shows. And so honestly, I'm I'm just trying to enjoy the rest of the summer here and get in getting into fall in New York, which is beautiful. Uh, that's it, really, you know. I feel like you're in a really good space. I feel like I am. Energy I think I am. Is good. You you seem good. Thank you. I am good. You know. Um. I I think I got a new appreciation for everything that is good in life mm. out of all of this out of the last couple of years. Wow. You know. And I don't know. Maybe it's just time. And it maybe maybe it's. I, I think I've done a lot of work too. Yeah. You know, to let go of, of a lot of negativity, negative people, negative energy, mm. you know, I just don't, I just don't want to buy that stuff anymore. Yeah. And so I'm just trying to have fun. And if someone gets enjoyment out of that as well, great. If not, we'll get it somewhere else. <laughs> well, it's working. This, the new song is amazing. Um, You Thank look good. You sound good. And I can't you know. wait for your tour. Ditto. Yeah. I hope I don't get a, I hope I don't get an out of office forever, you know, email reply from you. <laughs> you turned still, everything off. Is it still on? Oh, no, no. It's, oh. I don't, don't know. Oh, it, it, it probably is. Cause I don't, I don't think I turned it off. Sorry. Anyway. Well, Mel will put us in touch. I'm sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, thank you for your time. I know that it is precious to you and I'm really appreciative. Jacaranda FM.